Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 38 and in this video we're going to start removing elements from the DOM. Okay then, so in the last video I showed you how to create new elements and insert them into the DOM. In this video I want to show you how to remove elements from the DOM when you no longer need them, alright? So to do this, it's dead simple, just a couple of steps. First step is to grab the element that we want to remove, for example, this li tag there, and grab the parent element that that tag is within, all right? So we'll refer to this as the parent item, and this is the child item we want to remove. So we grab those two elements and store them in variables. Next thing we need to do is use the remove child method to remove this child. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's first of all grab this parent item. And to do that, we'll store it in a variable called parent, and we'll say document.getElementById, and we're going to grab this ID of main nav because the ul tag is within that main nav. So we'll pass in main nav, and then within that we'll say get elements by tag name, and then specify that we want the ul because that's this right here. And it's going to return to us an array, remember, because it's get elements. And within that array, there's only going to be one item because there's only one UL tag right there. So we can just say we want the zeroth position of that array straight away. Okay. And then if we call it, that should hopefully bring back to us that UL tag. And it does. Cool. So we've got the parent. Now let's get the child that we want to remove. And we'll call this variable child. I want to remove the first one right here. So to do that, I'll say this equals the parent, which is the ul tag, right? Dot get elements by tag name, and the tag name is li. Now there's three li's right here. It's going to return to us an array of three items, this, but I just want the first one, so I'll say square brackets zero to get the zeroth position item, and that's going to be this li tag right there. But let's just call it and double check. Child, expand this, subjects, which if we open the menu is the first item right there. Cool, so we've got our parent and we've got our child. Now we can call the method. And to do it, we first specify the parent. We call the method on the parent and we say dot remove child. And then within the brackets of that method, we specify which child we want to remove. And I'll say child like that. So right here, guys, what we're doing is saying get the parent, which we've already stored, remove one of its children, and the child I want you to remove is this one that's stored in this variable, which is the first li tag, all right? So I could call that right there and it's gonna remove this li tag, but what I would normally do is store this result in a variable, all right? I'll say removed equals, var removed equals parent dot remove child, child. And what that's gonna do is store the element that we remove in this variable. All right, so if I click enter, it's gonna remove that, but then if I ever want to reinsert that, I can do, right? I can reinsert it, I could say something like parent.append child removed, call that, and now it's gonna put that li back at the bottom, fair enough, but I could use the other one, insert before, to put it at the top. All right, so that, guys, is how we remove elements from the DOM. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer any questions you have. Otherwise, guys, if you enjoyed these videos, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.